existed long enough, but I think it's finally time to take my puffer coats out of storage. Not happy about this, but I am heading up north to my parents for the weekend. And last time I did that without my puffer, I actually had so many regrets. It was insane. So I'm not gonna make the same mistake this visit. I've got my short puffer that only comes like right to the top of my hip. My most necessary puffer one though is definitely the long version. And then I think I want to try putting some of my fall coats into some, um, what you might call it, vacuum seal bags. I usually like to keep one out because that can be like my fancy coat if I'm going to an event or something, but this situation is a little out of hand. I don't have a front closet, so I really put every single type of coat out on here. And then when I have guests over, I'm like, um, awkward. <laughs> awkward taco. Okay, here we go. back I have 15 minutes to open all of these some of them I probably can't show you because they're gifts but I want to get through these before I leave just in case anything needs to possibly go in the fridge which will make sense in a bit I think I've mentioned I have a trip coming up in January so one of the Black Friday sales I did try and take advantage of is American Eagle. I picked up two bathing suits, some black sandals, which I'm not even gonna unpackage for you because they're so basic. I also got these cheap sunglasses because I don't want to take expensive sunglasses. Not that I own expensive sunglasses, but you know. Are those cool? That could be a vibe. I think the only other personal thing I got for myself were a pair of Claudia mom jeans from Dynamite. I really do like the Claudia mom jeans. Although I have a pair of black mom jeans from Abercrombie, they're a little bit short on me. So in the Spring, summer, I don't mind it because it's a, a little bit more of a cropped look. But during the winter, it gets a little rough. These are what they look like. I also got a belt with a gold hoop. Both these were 30% off. I think that's the only ever time, only time maybe aside from Boxing Day, Dynamite ever does like 30% off. Oh, maybe Labor Day too. But it's not very common that it happens. So I figured Claudia jeans are a pretty safe bet. See, this is the PR package that I think I have to refrigerate. And the reason I have to refrigerate it is because it gets so hot in this apartment. But if I don't, it will probably melt by the time I come back. Oh, their chocolate's made right here in Canada. Fantastic. Introducing Purdy's Reconnect Roulette, a microsite that rewards you with Purdy's hedgehogs for sending a text to someone you've lost touch with in your life. We know that reaching out to someone you haven't spoke to in a while can seem daunting, but we're hoping Reconnect Roulette and chocolate will give you the extra little nudge you need. Oh, these are the little hedgehogs I think you get. They sent a box of assorted chocolates. Oh, some peppermint bark. Hell yeah. Oh, I lifted my nail, my nail color, I should say. Oh. There it goes, okay. Himalayan pink salt caramels. These look insanely good, okay. These are going in the fridge. Will really come in handy for hosting or for adding to people's gifts during the holidays. Even though I will indulge myself in some of them, I know I, I can't have all these by myself. Dangerous. No pun intended, but that really is like so, so sweet of Bertie. So thank you so much for sending that my way. This right here is a Christmas gift, so I'm not showing you this. Perfect. Restocked on the Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder. Ultra blur. This one is talc free and I also got, got the talc version. Got these at Shoppers like weeks and weeks ago when there was like a point steal if I spent a certain amount. So I think I got like $50 off my order with points. I like using the original formula for when I have like a really special event. So that wedding that I'm going to in January, I want to make sure everything's like locked in. But on a day to day, the talc free one is what I opt for. We got some PR, we got some holiday gifts, we got some personal stuff, we created a lot of chaos. The next mission is to quickly just put this into more pleasing piles and then we gotta get out of here. I, I, gotta, I gotta go. today's outfit some black jeans and then I think I showed you guys this bodysuit once from dynamite I love the little white trim on it it feels very classy but I feel comfortable which is the aim for today I'm heading to brunch a we need to talk about the wrapping paper choice this is all the non Christmassy wrapping paper that my mom had and I'm pretty sure that it's the best wrapping paper that I could have chosen. I feel like with those who have December birthdays you got to make sure that you don't give them Christmas themed stuff for their birthday because I'm sure that's a painful point about having a December birthday is you kind of sometimes get lumped in with Christmas stuff. And I also managed to make this giant crocheted pencil. How? 
adorable is this? She just became a teacher officially this year. So I got it in my head that I'd make like a little pencil ornament or like a pencil keychain. And that was the original intent. I even got a pattern for it. But I think because I used a lot uh, bigger yarn, I expected it to be a bit bigger. But as I was going through the process, I got to this point and I realized what was going down. And I'm like, this eraser should have been a lot smaller. So I just went with it. And I think it turned out really cute. I had to improvise, obviously, because the pattern was made for a much smaller design. I just want to write with it, you know? <laughs> I just think it's so cute. Uh, I can't believe I'm capable of doing things like this. I'm still in shock, but I wanted to make sure I showed you before I changed ownership over it because it's just made me happy. I love stationery, so selfishly, I kind of want to keep this, but I think this is a great mark for first year as a teacher. But also, the intent was to make it a lot smaller, so... Hopefully she doesn't mind it being like a legit plushie. Let's see if I can do this. Oh no. Why am I running out of tape? Actually, oh no! No, stop it. Please hold, I have to go get tape. I have to go frosted instead of the clear gift wrap tape, which is tragic, but. Desperate times, desperate times. I know she won't be expecting the pencil at all because I usually share all of my little crochet projects online and with her when we're on the phone and stuff, but oh man, how am I gonna do this? This ain't gonna be pretty. I think I'm just gonna accept that. My mom was telling me that I should really design like a tag that I can attach to my plushies or anything that I create. So that when I gift it, it says something like Kate's Creations or something like that. <laughs> Got the card. I'm going to tape it, not lick it. Where did the other... Oh, and you're on the other gift. Okay. We're good. I made it. I have 30 minutes to spare. Also, can we just talk about what my mom set up here for me for the holidays? A little jelly cat Christmas tree with lights that turn on at night. And then we've got some Grinch action over here. But how cute. My little Christmas tree. I am hiding. <laughs> Talk about angles that we don't do here on this channel a lot. I need to really work on that shelf. Okay, but side note, I'm back home. Been home for a few days. Things are happening. And I know when I left you in Toronto last, I was unboxing packages, but I need to unbox this package right now because I need my authentic reaction. I had decided for wrapping paper this year, I was going to do craft paper. So I ordered craft paper yesterday and ribbon from Amazon. This I think is the ribbon. What I'm concerned about is that this is the wrapping paper. I thought I was buying a roll. This, this is potentially a much smaller roll. And did I look at the measuring of the roll, the dimensions? Absolutely not. I trusted the photo. Okay. I think I can make this work. Probably also explains why it wasn't as expensive as some of the other rolls. And then I also picked up some pink ribbon because I thought crap paper plus pink ribbon might be a fun change up from what I usually do, which is like a red or a green ribbon, which I love as well. I love a good festive red green moment, but why not just spice it up a bit? Oh, this is gorgeous. I'm gonna make lots of bows. Actually, I think I just saw that bows in 2024 are gonna be all the rage. So I'm gonna be on trend before it becomes a trend. Actually, I think ribbons have kind of overtaken holiday season, so I'm probably a little bit behind. <laughs> well, I have you here, a big Christmas tree thank you to Instax. They sent me the Instax mini link too, and what's really cool about this is you can use it to print Polaroids, but of photos that you've already taken. So any photo you've taken on your phone, you can turn into a Polaroid, which is nice because although Polaroid cameras are fun too in that they're just like really in the moment, sometimes you get a photo in your camera roll that you're like, man, if this were a Polaroid, we'd really have something. 
introducing this. I might even use this to do gift tags for my Christmas gifts this year and, and really customize the gift by adding a picture of the person that I'm giving the gift to. Ideally a photo of me and them, so it's like the to and the from. We'll see if we get that far. Incredibly, incredibly generous, so thank you so much in stack. I'm really feeling a coffee right now, so I'm gonna do that. I feel very much so like I could go on a spy mission today. I feel very incognito. Maybe it's a turtleneck that's doing it, but it does have an open back, which is fun. I went to an event earlier today in Yorkville for Fleur de Ville. It's like a company that comes around and they work with Toronto florists, um, at least here in Toronto. I think they go around to different areas. They work with local florists to come up with these really large, beautiful floral displays. So I've seen them as just like a resident of Toronto before, but I've never known many details of them. Um, so it was neat to just walk around, see some beautiful exhibits. I met one of the florists who did one of the big displays and it was really great to chit chat with her and get to know some behind the scenes of the whole process. for dinner tonight and I am very excited because I'm finally gonna make them like my Tiutino. My uncle has just got something good going with his potato recipe. Whenever he does roasted potatoes, I have a good time. So when I was home this weekend, I finally asked him to, what are you putting in these things? And everything he put in his potatoes, I've been seasoning my potatoes with except for one key ingredient. So let's get into it. First, a little drizzle of olive oil, starting with the same ingredients we used, garlic powder. I'm pretty generous with garlic powder. I think you can never have too much garlic powder. This is my favorite seasoning. I'm gonna do some granulated onion as well. Paprika or smoked paprika, smoked paprika, I feel like gives a smokiness that I really enjoy, obviously. Are you still with me? Okay. Pepper. Unpopular opinion, but I really don't know what pepper does to a recipe. I know everyone says you season with salt and pepper. I get the salt. I never quite get the pepper. My palate doesn't trust that something's happening when I add this into anything, but I, I add it all the time anyways. Surely it's doing something. Some salt. Now for the top secret ingredient that he mentioned that is apparently the game changer here. Oh well, focus, focus camera. It is Clubhouse Tax Max. He says just a little bit. And I use that, just a little bit with the top, that's it. Go, 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 that's it. <laughs> so we're just gonna do that. And already it smells better. I don't know, I don't know what's in this stuff, but apparently it's magical. I'm gonna stir this all together. I think one of my goals for 2024 is just to get some of the basics really excellentified, like really nail my basics. I don't think I've made bad potatoes in the past, but like I said, something was missing from it being like, ugh. So maybe this is gonna solve my issue, but I also wanna, you know, get the Portuguese rice down. I'd like to get my grandmother's soup down. I've made it before, but I kinda like fell off the bandwagon with it and didn't make it again, so I need to practice making that more. I'd like to get into bread making. You know, there's a lot of like basics to tackle in 2024, so I gotta figure out a practical mission for doing that so that I actually get it done. Okay, this is gonna go in the pan. While I'm waiting for the potatoes, can I also just say, that I shared the moose ornament on Instagram and you may notice something different about this moose since you last saw it. It now has ears. I somehow forgot the ears. I posted the YouTube video and a whole reel about this process and I didn't realize I didn't add ears to it. And I think a couple people had made comments about it, but I was like, what are they talking about? I have antlers right here. Um, but no, antlers are not ears. That is not how a moose is gonna hear. So <laughs> we've got ears, we've got antlers. If any of you had concerns about that, um, just letting you know, it's been resolved. I fixed the problem. Suddenly 